tannin. Let's talk about this. Tannins, or known as tannic acid in foods, are a class of polyphenol chemicals that found in plants. Like many other polyphenols, tannins act as antioxidants, helping to prevent and reverse cellular damage caused by free radicals attack. We can find tannins in two main classes. There is hydrolyzable tannins and proanthocyanidins. Tannic acid is safe when used in the amounts found in foods, but in large amounts, tannic acid can cause side effects such as stomach irritation, nausea, vomiting, liver damage, and increased chance of developing nose or throat cancer. There is a special precautions and warnings for those of you who are a pregnancy and breastfeeding mom, having kidney problems, having liver problems, have weeping eczema and extensive skin damage, in fever, or having infectious diseases, adding on your heart failure. What about tannin health benefit? Tannins are multitalented inside our bodies, protecting us from a variety of health threats. Here are a few that have been studied so far. Tannins and heart disease, Studies on human subjects in 2012 documented the cholesterol-lowering ability of cookies containing the tannin-rich fiber of young persimmon fruits. Tannins and Cancer Various tannins can trigger apoptosis in cancer cells, inhibit their proliferation, and make it harder for them to survive. They can repress the expression of certain genes that create new blood vessels to feed cancerous tissue. And they've been shown to inhibit carcinogenic processes throughout the body. Tannins and bacteria. Tannins may destroy the integrity of the pathogen's cell walls, which gives researchers hope that they may be useful against drug-resistant strains of bacteria. Antioxidants. Tannins are among the most prolific free radical scavengers, and as such may be important allies in the prevention of many of the chronic diseases linked to unchecked free radical activity. A 2020 study found that tannic acid was able to prevent damage from sunlight and may even slow down the aging process itself, leading to fewer and less noticeable wrinkles. Tannins for inflammation. Recent rodent studies have shown that traditional Chinese herbs containing tannins can reduce mucosal inflammation by reducing levels of pro-inflammatory molecules, encouraging healthy gut microbe populations, and strengthening the gut lining to keep irritants out of the colon in the first place. So now that we're suitably impressed by tannins, but where can you find them? Here's some foods and beverages that are high in tannins. Tannins are naturally found in a variety of edible and inedible plants. Plants produce them as a natural defense against pests. Tannins also contribute color and flavor to plant food. Each type of tea contains tannins, but the concentration is strongly affected by the way it's produced and how long it's steeped when you prepare it. Many spices also contain tannins and other phenolic compounds. The commons are cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and black cumin seeds. According to some studies, coffee contains about half the amount of tannins as tea. However, this may vary depending on the variety, origin, roast level, grind size, brewing method, and extraction time of the coffee beans. The tannins in dark chocolate come from the cocoa bean, so anything that uses cocoa as an ingredient is going to contain some tannins. Tannin in fruits including grapes, apples, pears, berries, and stone fruit like peaches and plums, and wine made from red grapes is also high in tannins. Nuts also contain hydrolyzable tannins, but in smaller amounts than fruit. The nuts highest in tannins are almonds, pecans, walnuts, hazelnuts, pistachios, and peanuts. Dried beans have some tannins, mostly located in the seed coat. The simplest solution is to cook your dried beans and not eat them raw. Thank you for getting to know me. Don't forget the vitamins.